Hello guys, I hope that you are fine and doing well. Welcome to the Android Runtime Permissions Tutorial. As you know that the Android with the Android version 6 Marshmallow has introduced a runtime permissions which means that from now onward or from the Android version 6 and onward you have to handle a runtime permissions. Before that the Android permissions were very simpler. All you had to do was to declare the permission inside the manifest file and when uh, a user tries to install that app or download that app from the Play Store at the time of installation the user is asked to allow the permissions and the permissions are granted at the time of installation but with the Android version 6 or Android Marshmallow you have to handle a runtime permissions which means that you have to ask for the per permission at the runtime whenever the specific permission is required so we will be working on the Android runtime permissions and this is the app on which I will be working to teach you runtime permissions. So here on this device I have uh, Android Lollipop and on this device I have Marshmallow. The new Android permission model is backward compatible which means that if you run the app on Android Lollipop so you can see if I click check permission it by default gives the permission right external storage at the time of installation but if I check here check permission now this is what I was talking about this is the Android runtime permission so now the user will either allow or deny for example if the user gets confused that what this is and he she clicks on the deny button so then you have to explain your request or the permission you have to explain the, per, uh, the permission that why you require this permission and if the user understand this and clicks grant so he she will be able to grant the permission from here click allow to allow the permission or deny to deny the permission now again if the user clicks on don't ask again and clicks deny now again here we have to handle this because if the user do not provide uh, the required permission then our uh, requirements or our uh, functionality might not work so again if I click the check permission it again explains the permission that you need to allow storage permission so the user will click allow and the user will be headed to permission section and from here he she can grant the permission okay so this is the app on which I will be working and this was just uh, the introduction section and in the next video, I will start working on this application. And one thing more, the Android uh, permission model have divided the permissions into two sections. One is normal permission, uh, permissions and the second one is where, uh, the permissions that are uh, related to the security of the users. In the normal permission, we can say that uh, internet uh, permission is normal permission. So the Android system will by default allow the uh, the end uh, internet permission but if you want to write external storage or read external storage so that is not a normal permission because uh, there is some privacy issues uh, to the user so therefore uh, they are not normal permissions and you have uh, to ask for this permission uh, at run time okay guys so in the next video we will start work on we will start working on this runtime permissions